Hi guys, my name is Nina and welcome to VR TV. I will be giving you the latest, newest, most exciting VR news every single week. Epic Games has unleashed the latest edition of Unreal Engine 4. Following November 2016's 4.14 update, in Unreal Engine 4.15, they've added and upgraded a lot to their popular video game development software. They now have a quick menu, a radio menu for the VR editor to improve usability and functionality. Sleek. They've added a new number pad, UI, which helps developers add numbers 0 to 9, as well as negative and decimal value points in text fields. The monoscopic far field rendering allows for rendering of distant objects only once, only supported on mobile platforms for now. If you go to a virtual reality arcade, arcades, arcades, virtual arcades, fighting each other in arcades, it's awesome, especially in VR. Anyways, are you thinking about are the people who are building this content actually being paid? Well, you might have to ask yourself that question. Arcades is where it's at right now. They're growing in popularity, but there's a lot of black market VR. There's a lot of black, black market for VR arcades. And what they essentially do is that they buy the game once on Steam and they don't pay the people who actually create the content while still rolling in the money. Even though HTC Vive port, they are trying to build a business model to help the people who create the content get paid. Not cool. A virtual reality evolution in London, HTC's Graham Breen program manager, EMEA Virtually Reality, stopped short of stating exactly how HTC planned to combat this issue. However, many developers will undoubtedly welcome the acknowledgement that such an issue exists. During CES 2017, January, HTC announced two exciting accessories for the Vive. The Vive Deluxe Audio Strap, their Vive trackers, and since then they've had over 2,300 submissions for their trackers, with only a thousand available. So all those lucky developers out there who applied early will probably see their trackers come in sometime soon, within the next few weeks, as shipments are coming in. I want one too. I really want one too. <clears throat> So this is what I think is pretty exciting news because I'm a filmmaker. I had a lot of people come up to me asking, hey Nina, can you make that awesome trailer for my VR game concept thing? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And they're like, do you know how to use Unity? And I'm like, no, I don't. That's the end of the conversation. If you want to become a filmmaker in VR, all you have to do is just download Unity, have an HTC Vive, and if you created a game or you created a concept and you want to create the most amazing, awesomest, coolest teaser trailer to showcase what you've done and how amazing your product is, then all you have to do is download the plugin VR Cameraman. That's right, Tom, your job's taken. It's over, it's gone, you're finished. You don't, you don't get to be a DOP anymore. Why is it called cameraman? Why is it not just called VR camera person? I mean, women are there too, I'm just saying. You essentially get to do amazing things like dolly shots, dolly shots, crane shots, every complicated camera movement that you could possibly think of, but you get to do it in Unity. Created by Abyssal Arts Limited and CS Productions, to become the ultimate Spielberg. Tarantino, Pedro Maldivar, if you know the guy, the VR cameraman outputs content as native Unity animation files. So this allows every shot to be adjusted with Unity's built-in tools or any other plugins compatible with Unity's native animation files. This makes it super easy for you to be the ultimate badass in filmmaking. In VR, you're essentially taking my job. That's kind of depressing. On another note, VR Focus is also teaming up with VR World Congress and we have a competition to win two pairs of tickets to get access to all of the talks on all three days. But most importantly, you are also invited to the official after party where you can totally have a lot of fun. I would totally be there. I would totally sign up to that competition only and solely for that purpose and for that reason. There's gonna be some really great cool stuff Come and check it out. All of the links are down there. Good luck, and maybe I'll see you there.